How's it going guys? I'm sure all of you know by now, but if not, the Montreal Canadiens traded Mikhail Sergeyev and a conditional second round pick in 2018 for Jonathan Drouin and a conditional sixth round pick. So um, without a doubt, the biggest trade of the year. Um, personally, I think it's actually a very fair trade. I watched Sergeyev a lot over the last uh, few weeks, I guess, during the Memorial Cup. Um, obviously he plays for the Spitfires, and I think he's a very good uh, prospect defenseman. I think some people think he's a lot better than he is. Like, he's very good, but he's not the next Carlson or anything crazy like that. And then you have Jonathan Duran, who kind of broke out this year. And everyone knows he's a very good player, but the real question is, how good can he be? A lot of people are comparing this trade to the Sagan trade, as Sagan got dealt when he needed a new contract. Um, he was playing wing on the Bruins, goes to Dallas, plays center, um, and ends up just completely, like, going off. Um, and just, you know, becoming that much better of a player. So the question is, can Drouin do that? Uh, he was playing wing in Tampa. He has a chance to play center in Montreal. He played center in junior. Um, he just got a new contract. I think he's making five and a half mil a year for six years. And I mean, I really do think he has a chance to break out. I am very high on Drouin. I'm also very high on Sergeyev. But um, like I said, I think it's a very fair trade. Um, defensemen are worth more. So um, that kind of evens it out as well. Montreal added a second round pick with Sergeyev, so um, I've seen online a lot of people are kind of 50-50, like some people think Tampa won, some people think Montreal won, so I think that's a sign of a good trade, when there's people on both sides of the trade, so uh, we're going to see if this would go through, as you can see in NHL 17, Jonathan Durant, currently 21 years old, 84 overall, medium top 6'4 potential, so I don't know how he has top 6, I really think he should have elite, like Tyler Johnson has elite, and I think Jonathan Durant is already a better player than J Tyler Johnson, um, if not he for sure will eventually become a better player. Um, and then with that is a conditional 6th um, round pick in 2018. Uh, the condition is that Sergeyev plays at least 40 games in the upcoming season. So um, if he doesn't play 40 games, the picks are included. If he does play 40 games, the picks are not included. So we're going to pretend like he doesn't play 40 games um, for this trade. As I don't think the picks can be too big of a deal anyway. Sergeyev though, 18 years old, 76 overall. He's got the low elite potential. So... Uh, Duran obviously a few years older, but he is higher rated and in this game search has potential is slightly higher So we're also gonna add on the second round pick and as you guys can see here Montreal actually has three second round picks in 2018 I totally forgot about that Chicago's their own and Washington's and it's actually Washington's pick um, that's included in this deal So there's the trade Montreal's offering Tampa Bay and as you can see uh, Montreal's giving up a lot more trade value here. So um, Tampa Bay should say yes, even though Duran's on the block um, Let's take a look here and see what they say call up Lekkinen. So uh, they do indeed say yes. Um, like I was saying, I think it's a pretty fair trade. In this game, it looks like Tampa Bay won the deal, but uh, you got to remember too, with Montreal, they still have Juleson, who's a very good uh, prospect defenseman. You have to remember too that they're going to lose either Kalorn or Nemestikov to the expansion draft. So after trading Duran, they can actually now protect both those guys. Chances are they're now going to lose either Schuster or Cuckoo. If I can find Cuckoo on here, as they'll be able to protect all their forwards. Only three defensemen though. Defensemen most likely protected will be Hedman, Strawman, Search has exempt. Um, and I'm thinking it'll either be Cuckoo, Schuster, or Garrison for the third defenseman. And then whoever they don't protect between Cuckoo and Schuster, as they're both younger than Garrison, is I think who Vegas will pick. So um, is it better to lose one of those defensemen than Klorin or Nemestikov? Probably. Um, so that's just kind of Tampa Bay's angle on it. But um, there's the trade from the Montreal side. Let's now try and make the same trade from Tampa Bay's side and see if Montreal says yes. Also guys, I forgot to mention before that the trade difficulty is set to hard, so uh, it's the most realistic trade difficulty setting in my opinion. I think medium is like way too easy to fleece the computer teams, but it is set on hard, so uh, we'll see now if we can get the trade to go through with Tampa Bay. I have a feeling Montreal's gonna say no as the value was pretty heavily in their favor, but if we do take out the second and sixth round picks, Duran for a surgery have one for one might go through, especially if uh, Duran's like a player Montreal wants. If he has green text, um, I could see it going through, which would be pretty cool. Um, the trade works on both sides, um, one with the condition, one without the condition, so um, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so here's the trade with the draft picks. This of course is if Sergeyev doesn't play 40 games next year. Um, Montreal actually does want Duran, but they don't want to trade away Sergeyev, and the value's pretty highly on Montreal's side, so I think for sure this isn't going to go through. I kind of expected that, but we'll take away the picks, we'll pretend Sergeyev plays 40 games. It's a bit closer now. Uh, Sergeyev does have more value though. Because Duran has top six, I think he actually had a lead at one point in the year, and they must have changed his potential, but um, they want Duran, so maybe they'll say yes. I don't see it happening, though. They do say no. So if you just want to go off NHL 17, Tampa Bay definitely won the trade, as Sergeyev has more value, but like I said, in my opinion, I think it's a very fair trade. Honestly, I could see even Montreal winning it. 
Uh, Duran, I think, has a lot of untapped potential um, that's going to come through, especially if he's playing like first line center in Montreal with some good wingers, whether it's Patch Ready or Ladulov. I really think he could go off this year. So uh, it's going to be fun to find out. I think this is a trade we're really not going to know who won until a few years down the road, which is kind of good, as it'll leave it up for debate right now. And speaking of which, I would love to hear from you guys who won the trade, Montreal or Tampa Bay. Definitely let me know in the comments section. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. Have a nice day. Goodbye.